Hey guys, Kia from Kegland, and today we're doing a little bit of a video on a firmware update that we've particularly done for Brazilers, uh, mainly for distillers who are out there. So with distillation, um, one thing is you don't want the elements to be pulsing on and off to achieve certain power uh, percentages, and that's something that happens when we're using this for brewing. So with distillation, for instance, let's say you've got a very stable process like um, you know using bubble capper plates. If you've got the elements pulsing on and off, then that can cause the bubble capper plates to collapse, for instance. So what you wanna do is use a combination of the elements below and just only hold specific elements on. So that way there is absolutely zero variation in the power going into the base of the unit. So uh, you can see now on the firmware, if you look at heat 100%, obviously when 100% is on, it's always gonna be all elements on all the time. But let's say if I drop this percentage down to 95, you can see that equals disappears. So at 100, it says equals 3,500. But you can see it doesn't equal uh, 95, doesn't equal exactly 3,325. What it does is it pulses elements on to average that amount of power. The other thing is you can just find the ones where it has an equals in front of it, like 3,000 watts. That means I've got the 2,000 and 1,000 watt element down at the base turned on full time. And that's why, why it's giving me that equal sign. So there's gonna be no fluctuation on any of these sort of wattages where there's an equal sign there. And you can basically choose those wattages where there's an equal sign. You know your power is gonna be, um, you know, always uh, gonna be a consistent power going into the base. Another thing you can do, do if you basically wanted to just jump between the ones which have an equals, um, go into the settings um, like this. So go to settings, then click on distillation mode here. So just check that box there, then return back to the home screen. And then what you'll see is you can just press the up and down and it will only select element wattages where it's got fixed elements that you can turn on and off. So for instance, I've got the Brusilla 65. I, I can go between 500 watts, 1000, 1500, 2000 watts, 2500, 3000, and 3500. So you still got a reasonable amount of control and resolution of what you can choose, but you won't get any pulsing of the power whatsoever. It can give you a very, very steady, constant power, particularly for distillers. Anyway, that's it. If you've got a friend in distillation, please let them know about this uh, firmware update and share the video with them as well so they know what's going on.